Hello everybody, Proto Foxy coming back at you with another video and today we will be taking a look at Transformers Authentic Alpha Assortment Optimus Prime. Yes, we do authentic reviews on the show because I actually love the authentic toy line. Uh, pretty cool, nice budget options for uh, younger fans and all of that and uh, I dig them. I dig them, what can I say? But we will be taking a look at Optimus Prime. I will not be looking at the packaging because I have misplaced it. I saved the packaging for these reviews before I go ahead and dispose of them. Recycle them, of course. Uh, but I've misplaced this one. So we're heading right into the toy. And Optimus Prime is a red and blue truck. Are we surprised? Now... Obviously lack of paint detailing because, again, it is a budget based line for the Authentics. But there is some detailing here. We get the nice gray on the grill, yellow for the headlights, blue for the uh, windows. Uh, actually, surprisingly enough, has a lot of nice sculpted detailing. We get the uh, Autobot logo there. I believe it's only on the one side, which is always definitely animation accurate. But there is a lot of nice sculpted detailing. Focus, please, camera. We get, uh, you know, rivet lines and just, you know, typical truck detailing here and there. Focus, there we go. But yeah, rivets, windshield wipers, all that stuff. You get the roof lights. Ooh, he's a little dusty. He's been sitting for a bit. Let me get that dust off of there. But yeah. You know, we get the uh, small, small safety minded smokestacks molded in again in blue. Hang on, my guy was dusty, he was sitting out for a while. Uh, and I that's definitely unprofessional. No dust on the toys, but yeah, a lot of molded in detailing as opposed to painted detailing. Look at the underside, we get a look at how this is going to work. There's no no hiding what this toy is about. It is a budget-minded toy. And that's what that is. That's what the Authentics line is about. Market 6 budget stuff. Get this at Dollar General, Family Dollar. Wherever your budget toys are sold. He rolls. He's got rolling wheels. That's how it works. Dooty dooty doo. Rolling wheels. Get a quick little comparison with his mortal nemesis authentics megatron which i reviewed previously on the channel and i actually really dig this authentics megatron he's definitely a cool toy yo vanilla uh evergreen design megatron is a tank optimus is a flat nose truck are we surprised 360 around get good looks at that that is the comparison and these toys are basically, but you know, roughly Voyager size, so you can actually uh, take and compare these to the uh, any Voyagers. But that's enough of that. That's enough of vehicle mode. We are going to go ahead and get down into transformation. So what we do, we're going to start here. Go ahead and unclip. This is on a ball joint, which will go into uh, robot mode. But you know, as we can see, that folds out second verse same as the first so got the legs done we're gonna go ahead and bring the entire top section of the roof down a little bit and then turn that is on a ball joint and now here we will go ahead these are on sliders his arms and uh they come out be careful because they are uh staggered and they are plastic sliders so we go ahead and get that out. We go ahead and, uh, or no, actually we don't turn that. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. So go ahead and put that the right way it's supposed to be. And then that just kind of thoops in there. You can hear it. And there's some pegs, slides into place. Go ahead and bring the arms down. We are not done because these obviously rotate. They are elbow joints, even though they are molded in to set that way to be straight arm, but those are elbow joints. So we bring those down, bring that down, and we have Authentics Optimus Prime in robot mode. And again, G1-y looking Optimus Prime. Are we surprised? No, we are not, folks. But he's decent looking. For a budget line, Optimus Prime, let's get in close and look at Optimus's head sculpt. 
and that is definitely G1 Prime. Actually, the head sculpt is done really well. There's a lot of really nice sculpted detailing on all of these authentic toys. You get a bit more paint apps on Optimus in robot mode. You know, black for the windscreen area. You know, you get black uh, painted out windshield wipers, gray for the chest. Obviously, a lot of cheats going on because this is a budget toy. Um black on the shins on the knees you know grays and stuff i would have been okay with them maybe picking out a bit of uh painted detailing in the arms and the hands but again budget line what can you say autobot sigil there again shows up painted nice pointed out detailing let's get into articulation head rotates not on a ball joint shoulders on a ball joint rotates 360 all ball jointy stuff same thing with the elbows, wide range of movement, you know, very liberal use of ball joints. Move the arms up, legs kick back, only, well, let's not pop off the roof section here. Let's get that back into place, and big dope. Legs only go back that far, kick forward that far. Knees are ball jointed and something to be aware of. Mine came out of the package that way. Those are stress marks. So just be aware of that. But everything is very heavily, heavily ball jointed on this toy. And that is definitely not a bad thing. Liberal use of ball joints are always very good. Uh, so he will definitely get a wide array of very expressive poses. And these hands are molded with the five millimeter points in mind. He does not come with any accessories on his own, but if you have spare weapons somewhere, peg them into his hand. Definitely not a bad, bad option. We will go ahead and bring in for comparison his mortal nemesis Megatron. And now what I do like about this and something I will always say about Transformers toys in general is that Megatron should always be a shade taller than Optimus. Should always be a thing. Unless Optimus then has a powered up super mode, then of course it's okay for him to be taller than Megatron. But Megatron in standard modes needs to be taller. Get the 360 turnaround, all of that stuff looks good. And again, like I said before, these toys are roughly Voyager sized, so a really nice Voyager budget option for Transformers. Obviously, more you know intended for uh, budget, kid friendly stuff in mind. But I dig the Authentics line. I always thought it was definitely cool. And I told the story about the Authentics line in a previous review many moons ago, so I won't get back into that. Go back and check that out. But I gotta say, I dig the Authentics line. It's definitely cool to have evergreen designs and then budget-minded on top of that. This toy is $10. Voyager-sized toy in current times being 10 bucks. Yeah, can't go wrong. Market six stuff, so your, your dollar generals, your family dollars, stuff like that. That's where you find this one. If this is something that is up your alley, I dig them. I will collect them. It's definitely cool. Budget-minded in, in mind. Can't go wrong. You know, may not be your thing. And if it's not, that's okay. There's always something else out there for you. But I dig them. And I'm here to say that I actually definitely recommend this Optimus Prime. He is not without his flaws. Obviously, those don't fold away. Obviously, the elbows are molded in such a way where his hands are always out on the side like this. But that's fine. It's a budget toy. And he's Voyager size. And he definitely has the G1 aesthetic down to a pat. That is definitely a very cool evergreen G1 style Optimus Prime. I can't beam enough about it. I dig it for its price point. It's definitely a cool toy. Recommend it. So, all that being said, I will leave you all with this. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you liked it, shoot a subscribe my way. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will say, wash your hands, wear your masks, whether or not you're vaxxed, protect your fellow human beings, and be kind to those said human beings. And I will see you in the next video.